What's up, everybody, and welcome back to All Sports Media TV. Y'all know I had to do it, man. I just couldn't let this one ride. I started to, you know, talk about it a while back, but ultimately, I decided not to at first. But then again, I decided let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's so. But first things first, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, we talking about three division world champion, undefeated, current light lightweight champion, Javante Tank Davis and his opponent, the WBA uh, super featherweight champion, Lamont Roach. I don't like this fight. As a lot of boxing fans. They don't like this fight. Javante Tank Davis, he caught a, caught a lot of blowback for making this fight. December 14th, Houston, Texas. It should be a massive card. It's supposed to be a massive card. You got the Charlo brothers uh, returning on there. Brandon Figueroa, Stephen Fulton on there. You know, uh, supposed to be a, a few other great fights on there. We'll talk about those at another time. But I just don't like this fight. The reason I don't like this fight is because why not make a fight? With the only other champion in the division who's not hurt right now. That being WBO champion Dennis Berenchik. Because I'm sure if the price is right, the deal is right, whatever Berenchik has going, he may put that aside for that. When why what why wouldn't he? It's a chance to unify the titles. Your countrymen did not take the fight. You can take the fight. But why not Javante Tank Davis try to make the fight? Because according to Shakur Stevenson, Javante Tank Davis never set the contract. So we don't know what's up there. He was in negotiations to fight Vasily Lomachenko, but Lomachenko pulled out and decided he wanted to take the rest of the year off. Is that a duck? Yeah, he ducked him. Well, we'll, we'll give Tank that one. But as far as all this other stuff, fighting Lamont Roach, I mean, there's other guys. You could have fought Roy Ma, uh, Marotella. You could have fought him. There's other contenders in the division. Better fights. The fight with El Rayo fell through over rehydration clauses and all of that. Come on, man. Give and take. You are the A side. You can make the fight. Uh, his last fight he had with Frank Martin, he put the pressure on. He looked amazing in that fight. But was it that he looked amazing or was it that the competition just wasn't up to par? We don't know. Not at this point. Prior to that, he had the fight with Ryan Garcia. You can see clearly the difference in skill in that fight. Prior to that, he had a fight with Hector Luis Garcia, which was a good fight, by the way, up until the stoppage. Hector Luis Garcia said he couldn't see out his eye. Fight was over. Prior to that, he had the fight with Roly Romero. Not even a good fight. You could clearly see the skill difference. Prior to that, he had the fight with um, Isak Cruz. Good fight. Good fight. Hurt his hand in the fight. He had to box and use his abilities. It's a really good fight. Right at that. He had a good fight with uh, Leo Santa Cruz. I thought it was a good fight up until the knockout. We got to put the pressure on these guys, our top guys, to make the biggest fights. If you want the fans, the fans, to pay these $75, $85 pay-per-view prices, you have got to fight the best competition out there. You, there's no way around it anymore. Riyadh season, Turkey al has put on some of the biggest, most massive cards you could think of with the best fight and the best. And that's what we want to see. Will we get that from Javante Tank Davis anytime soon? We don't know. This will be the last fight for him of this year. Obviously, he probably won't fight again until uh, June, maybe, of next year. 
Come on, man. I want to know what y'all think about this. I just wanted to come on here and say this is a fight that I don't like. It's a fight that I think shouldn't have been made. Um, I'm not going to. Uh, uh, Lamont Roach, he's a good fighter. Let's not. Let's not. He's 25, one and one. You know, uh, 10 wins by way of knockout. He has a good left hook. He has good hand speed, all of that. But he doesn't have the big stage, bright light name and experience. That's not what we want to see. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace.